right, if you have a Dell Latitude E6530 and you're missing these drivers after installing Windows 11 or Windows 10, the best way to try and find what they're related to is to right click it, go to properties. From properties, you go to details and there you go to hardware IDs. Okay, in the hardware IDs, you just right click that and then select copy go into a web browser and I'll just paste that and you can see this one is for Bluetooth. Uh, just repeat that process for all those missing drivers and that should hopefully help you figure out what each one is. Uh, but what I did is I went to Dell, their website. From there you go to support, support home and we're going to type in the E6530 in the search box down here. So when you type E6530 it tells you latitude E6530, select that. So we're going to go over here, drivers and downloads. I want to find specific ones, so I'll select the drivers. And you want to select your operating system. If they don't have it, just choose the closest. They don't have Windows 11, so we'll choose Windows 10, 64-bit. And you have this whole menu. I'm going to go through and install each one, and I'll tell you which one actually makes those missing drivers disappear. Once you check mark all of that, you'll say download selected. And it should now tell you here. I'm going to save it to the desktop and we're just going to click save. We're going to do that for all the downloads. So we're going to allow multiple files and I'm just going to save all of them. Okay. It's going to keep popping up till I finish. So I'll be back. Okay. So I installed the Intel management engine one. And as you can see, one of the drivers are now installed. So that one was this chipset, uh, application PRR or whatever that is. All right, the next one I installed is the Bluetooth driver. As you can see, it's still installing, but now we only have two left. That file shows up as this network driver, all right, 565N6. Okay, I reinstalled the Freefall drivers, and there we go. So the unknown device one disappeared. Now we just need to figure out the, I think there's the fingerprint reader. But... All right, so it turns out the missing driver was the Dell Control Vault driver. So this is the Dell Control Vault driver. I installed that one. So I just had to find it in here, the Dell Control Vault driver. I'm gonna try if I can update the firmware, but uh, that one seems to be the last driver we needed. And that's pretty much it. All right, so it's updating the firmware. The way you do that is you just run the Control Vault uh, firmware update thing. It will open this folder for the files. And then in that firmware folder, you just go to the bottom, you see this USH upgrade. So that's the one you click, and then you just tell this thing to start. One other important driver is the touchpad driver. Uh, once I installed that, now the two finger scroll works. Before it wouldn't let me do that. So now I can scroll using two fingers. All right, see you guys later.